Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. My name is Rick and today we will be looking at the random number function on the Sharp EL531 XT calculator. To do this we will be using the second function key located here, the 7 with the random secondary function located here, and the equals key located here. To get into the random number function on this calculator, we press second function, 7, and it brings up this screen. Now this calculator has four different options for a random number. It can generate a random number between 0 and 0.999. It can simulate a random dice roll generating between 1 and 6. It can simulate a random coin flip to produce a zero or a one, aka a head or a tail. Or it can produce a random integer that is between zero and ninety-nine. To use the random number, we choose the first option that says RAND, zero there, and we'll press equals to select it. We now get this screen that says random and has a zero here. If we want to use it, we press zero again. We get 0.945 on this example, which we know is between our zero and 0 0.99. We can use it again. Oh, and this time we got 0 0.025, and we can keep going, continuously getting random numbers between 0 and 0.999. All right, now let's look at the random dice roll. To do this, we move, use the arrow to move over 1, highlighting the R dice, and press equals to select it. Now we see our dice at the top and 0, so we press equals again, and we get a 6, and we can keep going to roll our dice. This time we get 4, 6 again, 4 again, 2. As you can see, these are random numbers between 1 and 6. Alright, now let's look at the coin flip. Again, back to the random function screen, and we use the arrow to move over twice, highlighting the R coin and the flashing 2. We press equals, R coin at the top of the screen with the 0, and we press equals. We got a 1, equals again, a 1 again, equals again, a 1 again, lots of tails on this one. Oh, and that time we got a 0. Another zero, this time a one. You can see it randomly goes between zero and one. All right, let's look at the last option, the random integer. So this time we'll go to the right one, two, three times. R int, we'll select it with the equals. And let's try it, zero. So we got 95 this time, again. 96, 86, 74, 3. You can see these are all random numbers between 0 and 99. So this is just a handy little tool on your calculator that you can use. Maybe you don't have a dice for your board game or you need to flip a coin and decide something. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests.